Welcome to writing your first blog post using WordPress 2.8 and beyond. My name is Philip King and in this step-by-step -step guide we will go through the procedure for writing your first WordPress blog post. We will cover the quick press posting method first, followed by the full blog post procedure including the insertion of graphics and multimedia files. So, it's time to write your first WordPress blog post. Writing a blog is like sending an email. You give it a title, write the message, enter an address, and click a button to send. So, let's begin. Log into WordPress in the administrators area, that's wp-admin, enter your username and password, and click login. There are several ways of making a post, and all give the same result. On the dashboard menu, click the down arrow on the posts menu item to expand the posts menu. This is the main posts area where you can edit a post, add a new post, define post tags and post categories. If you click the down arrow on the title bar new post box, another menu will give you the facility to create new posts, draft posts, new pages and make uploads and comments. For our first post we'll use QuickPress. QuickPress is a fast method for entering comments without too much formatting or graphics. So. Click the down arrow on the Quick Press Title tab to open the editing window and enter a title for the post in the title text box. Enter your post text in the content text box and a few keywords in the tags box. Click the publish button to finish our blog entry and move on to a new post. To see the post we've just created, click the visit site link on the title bar and there is our post for all to see. Quick and easy. Let's move back to the admin page now and use the full editor facility. Just click the back page arrow. Click the new post menu item on the title bar to open the add new post page. You could click on the dashboard post menu and select add new post but this is easier. Plus as a bonus this method opens the dashboard post menu anyway. So let's enter the title of the post. I'm just going to use copy and paste for this exercise to save time. Again to keep things simple select the visual text tab so we can use the WYSIWYG editing facility. Also select the show kitchen sink icon to display all the editing options available and click in the editing area to enter our content. We'll just enter some header text and format it as H2 text. Then we'll enter some content text and some embedded media from YouTube. For this we need to select the insert embedded media icon which pops up the Insert Edit Embedded Media dialog box. If you have the necessary data, you can just type the data in here. But as I didn't write it down, we'll just pop over to YouTube and grab the data. We need to copy the URL data for this video. Go back to our dialog box and paste the data into the File URL text box. Click on the Preview window and our link should be verified. So click the insert button to insert the video in our post. Resize the video for our post using the drag handles and that's how you insert multimedia into your post. We'll finish by inserting a picture. So click the add an image icon to display the add an image dialog box. You can get a picture from your computer from a URL or from your media library where you have already uploaded items to your server. I'm going to select Media Library for my picture location and the WordPress logo as the picture by clicking on the Show link. This displays the Add an Image dialog box where you can enter the graphics details if you haven't already. Click the Insert into Post button when the details are to your liking. We now need to enter a short excerpt which we will copy from the opening paragraph. and paste into the excerpt text box. We'll finish by selecting a category and entering some keyword tags remembering to separate them with commas and click the add button. If you need to add or edit categories or tags to select the appropriate dashboard menu item. We're now ready to publish our efforts so click the publish button and let's take a look at the result by clicking the visit site link in the header bar. Press the play button to listen to Marie Digby sing Say It Again.
The thing about love is it never saw it coming. It kind of crept up and took me by surprise. And we're finished. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. There's lots more information and demonstration videos on our site, so why not give us a call? See you soon.